In 2021, Tableau have brought about some changes to R Stata. This time they've introduced something called the R Stata Phrase Builder. In essence, previously they found that, you know, users really struggled to put something into this uh, box. Essentially, what do you type when you're faced with all the data in the world? And people really struggle with that. So now you can see a subtle change here. You've now got the ability to add phrases here at the very top. And here I'm actually starting out in a lens. You do require a lens use our data lens is essentially a way of scoping what data is going to be available when you use the capability of ask data so instead of typing something here for using our data i'm just going to go ahead and select add field and you'll see that i get a list of fields that are available to me and when i click on any one of these things i'm essentially going to get prompted to you know go to the next step so if i go ahead and select sales it'll ask me hey what do you want to do with this aggregation instead i'll select sum of sales if i open up advanced i do get the uh possibility to select some other variants but i'll just go ahead and add the field and you'll see that it immediately hops into the full r data experience where i can then continue this particular line of inquiry so you can see here i've got some of sales i can then say okay i want to break this down by category and uh, it will obviously figure that out for me so it will say we group by this field i'll add that field and notice it's changing the chart as i do this and if i don't like the chart choice i can go over here to the right hand side maybe select a tree map so I get something a little bit more visual, but then carry on with my questioning. So you'll see that it's added those three things here at the top. So I'm just clicking through our data. I'm not having to sort of work too hard to sort of define the question. So this is more exploratory, if that makes sense. So here I want to group these dates by year. Let's go ahead and add that field. And it kind of breaks this down in a weird way. I would have liked to have had a year on the axis that would have made a little bit more sense. But if that's not working here, what I can do is I can go to a different type of chart. Let's go back to a bar chart and see what it does. That's a little bit easy to see. And I can just keep going. So I can then go in and let's go select subcategory. Um, I can do a few different things. I can count the number of, uh, you know, subcategories. But again, I'm just going to group by this field. In my head, I know what I'm trying to do. Um, but in essence, you know, Tableau is sort of making those decisions for me. Now, the other thing is the filtering experience is also a lot cleaner. So I can, you know, go into the people table and say, look, I just want to look at the sales from a specific regional manager. So let's uh, select uh, Chuck McKenzie and you'll see the chart changes. So in a very brief uh, amount of clicks, without ever typing anything, I've built a very basic chart that I can then take off and use in the Ask Data experience. And this is now available for everyone with a viewer or an explorer license alongside creators as well. So that's also something nice to see here, but that's pretty much the change here. Ask Data Phrase Builder, making it easier to ask questions in Ask Data without having actually to type or ask any questions, which is, a, I think, a nice quality of life improvement. You have now two ways of asking questions. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do, hit subscribe. And we're on a march to 50,000 subscribers. We're at 25,000 right now. So if you're actually one of the people watching this video that's not subscribed, most people aren't subscribed, then go ahead, join the family, help us get to that target. And I'll catch you in the next video.